Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Speaker of the Representatives Council Fawzi Zainal and the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, as well as members of both councils to deliver to His Majesty the annual report for the work of both the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Majesty praised the efforts of both councils to serve the kingdom and its people since the launch of the parliamentary march and hailed the role of the legislative authority in developing and enhancing the democratic approach as well as enhancing the cooperation with friendly countries. His Majesty also praised the contents of the annual report including ideas to improve the legislative and monitoring performances and build on what has been already achieved. His Majesty hailed the continuous cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities and praised the efforts of Bahrainis in serving the kingdom and enhancing its development march. His Majesty expressed his aspirations for more economic and a civilized development and keenness to further enhance joint action with the GCC Arab and world countries. He added that the people of Bahrain proved their capabilities in making tremendous accomplishments on the regional and international levels. The Speaker of the Representatives Council has expressed her thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and praised the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. She affirmed that the support of His Royal Highness was the key for all achievements of the Representatives Council in line with the reform project of His Majesty the King. Al-Saleh affirmed that the royal support of His Majesty the King for the efforts of the legislative branch is a pillar for enhancing its contributions and supporting the democratic march with legislative achievements. The Shura Council chairman expressed pride in meeting His Majesty the King and in presenting him with the Council's 19th annual report which documents the Council's performance and legislative outcomes as well as its various activities and programs during the third session of the fifth legislative term. He hailed the royal directives and continuous follow-up of His Majesty the King to the legislative branch's activities, noting that the continuous appreciation and commendation from His Majesty for the role of the legislative branch is an incentive to increase efforts to establish the pillars of the democratic march and develop the national legislative system to achieve the interests of the country and serve its citizens. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace the Saudi Minister of State and Cabinet Member His Royal Highness Prince Turkey bin Mohammed bin Fahad bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and the accompanying delegation to greet His Majesty on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness Prince Turkey conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince uh, Prime Minister and Minister of Defense Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and their wishes of progress and prosperity to Bahrain and his people. His Majesty the King welcomed His Royal Highness Prince Turkey and asked him to convey his greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques and the Crown Prince and his wishes of development and advancement to the Saudi people. His Majesty expressed pride in the historic relations and fraternal ties between the two countries and the level of cooperation and coordination they reach for the prosperity of the two countries' people. His Majesty hailed the honorable and supportive stances of the custodian of the two holy mosques, Towers Bahrain and his people and his efforts in developing and strengthening Bahrain Saudi ties. He commended Saudi Arabia's leading role in establishing the pillars of security, stability and peace in the region and in protecting the interests of its countries and people. The representatives of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the President of the Board of Directors of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, Noga Holding, and the Acting Managing Director of the company, Dr. Mohammed bin Dana, and the company's CEO, Mark Thomas, in the presence of the company's Board of Directors members and Director General of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Abdullah Zin. During the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Nasser hailed the expertise and competency of Dr. bin Dana 
Dana and Mark Thomas and their appointment as managing members and CEO of the company. His Highness stated that Noga Holding continues to increase investments in the oil and gas sectors in accordance with the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the aspirations of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to support the national economy. His Highness Sheikh Nasser highlighted the necessity for cooperation and planning to continue development building on the expertise of Mohammed bin Dana and Mark Thomas for their part and the two guests expressed their pride in His Highness Sheikh Nasser's confidence affirming their keenness on continuing the development of the company in the coming period and praising His Highness's support to the company. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure with the Bahrain Victorious Cycling Team's winning first place in the Tour of Croatia during the first stage by cyclist Philip Bauhaus. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the new victory embodies the team's position in the European arena and affirms the high capabilities of the riders, which kept them on the podium in various participations. His Highness affirmed his keenness on continuing to support the team in order to continue promoting the kingdom and contribute to making sports a key factor in achieving Bahrain's economic vision 2030. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that the Croatia Tour is a renowned sports event and is known for the wide participation it attracts uh, from various cyclists in the world. His Highness wished the team success in the upcoming participations. Under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the concluding ceremony of the 10th Bahrain National Robotics Competition 2021 was held today, organized by the Ministry of Education, with the participation of 54 teams from all educational stages and public and private schools. His Highness Sheikh Khalid went on a tour in which he viewed the projects submitted by the teams. Then the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, delivered a a speech in which he hailed the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in light of His Highness's support to all initiatives aimed at developing youth energies in all fields. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his pleasure with the competition in the 10th edition, which affirms the success of its goals of supporting the outcomes of Bahraini education, developing creativity and innovation, and encouraging the development of youth capabilities. His Highness stated that holding scientific events and competitions reflects the development of education in Bahrain, which contributed to making further achievements and gains for the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the efforts of the Ministry of Education in implementing programs and events aimed at developing the educational movement. His Highness congratulated the winning teams, wishing the other teams better luck in future participations. وبالنظر إلى ما تمر به مجتمعاتنا في الفترة الأخيرة وهي تتصدى لأزمة صحية مستجدة فرضت العديد من المتغيرات وجاءت بالمزيد من التحديات فإنه يصبح من الضروري أن يتاح أمام الشباب المزيد من الفرص العملية والمعرفية ليتمكنوا من الإسهام في تطوير الشأن التنموي وبأساليب مبتكرة تسرع من تحقيق الأجندة العالمية للتنمية المستدامة
His Highness Sheikh Khalid honored the judges and the winning teams and the Minister of Education presented His Highness Sheikh Khalid with a commemorative gift on the occasion. For his part, the Minister praised the continuous support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid to Bahraini youth in all fields. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited Al Bisaytin Club and Um Al Hassam Club as part of His Highness's keenness to enhance communication with sports facilities. His Highness met with the President of Al Bisaytin Club, Yahya Ali Al Mjadmi, and uh, the President of Um Al Hassam Club, Dr. Hisham Al Bin Ali, as well as a number of members. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the efforts of Al Bisaytin Club in serving the Bahraini sports, expressing hope that the new administration will continue the development of the sector. He hailed the efforts of Um Al Hassam Club, expressing his hope that efforts will be intensified in the coming period. His Highness then listened to a briefing from the presidents of the clubs regarding their future plans that aim to develop the sports sector of the kingdom. For their part, the club's presidents expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his continuous support and hailed his efforts and contributions to serving the sports sector in the kingdom. The CEO of the Information and E-Government Authority, Mohammed Al-Qaid, announced the implementation of the comprehensive plan for ID card services and affirmed that this plan will provide 600 to 1,000 daily appointments. The plan will include reopening the Arad Center, increasing the number of employees in the Fast Track facility. The e-services provide more electronic services in addition to increasing the number of self-service devices. Al-Qaid added that the directors of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard, using the Tawassal system and the fast response to citizens' suggestions and complaints motivated the authority to exert further efforts to meet clients' needs. Bahrain celebrates the World Heart Day, which is observed annually on September 29th. The celebration aims to assert the significance of increasing awareness of cardiovascular diseases and promoting joint efforts to fight heart and artery diseases. Bahrain has accorded great importance to improving preventative therapeutic and diagnostic services related to heart diseases through primary and secondary care. This reflects the keenness of the leadership on the health and safety of the Bahraini community by providing many specialized medical centers and advanced therapeutic equipment and technologies that meet international standards in diagnosis, 
treatment and rehabilitation. Bahrain will organize a specialized conference in the field of sports cardiology in December. The event aims to shed light on the importance of exercising and following healthy lifestyles to protect the health. To speak more about this, we are joined over the phone by the consultant cardiologist and interventional cardiac electrophysiologist and head of electrophysiology department at Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Cardiac Center, Dr. Adil Khalifa. Hello, Dr. Adil. Oh, hi. Good evening. Good My evening. pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Tell us about the importance of marking World, World Heart Day and how do you increase awareness about cardiovascular problems? Well, first of all, uh, World Heart Day is commemorated every year on the 29th of September. This celebration highlights the importance of heart diseases in general, as it was and is still the leading cause of death throughout the world. It is also an affirmation of the importance of spreading health awareness and various measures that may be taken to reduce the risk, such as like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, stroke cessation and others to promote health in general and uh, heart health in particular. And I have to say that the Kingdom of Bahrain has made many achievements in health sector during the prosperous uh, era of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness uh, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and the Prime Minister uh, in this uh, regard. Now, I guess regarding your second point, I guess m many people, uh, especially those under the age of 65, they don't think they will have a heart attack. Nevertheless, it happens. Mm -hmm. The message here, we should educate our patients and people in general about the importance of uh, cholesterol checking, blood pressure measurement, controlling diabetes, and taking medication as, as a prescribed if they are on medication and knowing the lifestyle risk factors and try to address them. Now, the need to raise awareness for cardiovascular risk is great, but I strongly believe that there is um, still uh, room for uh, uh, improvement. And on this occasion, I would like to point out that for the first time in the Middle East, we are having a conference dedicated uh, for sports cardiology, which mm -hmm. will take place uh, next December under the generous patronage of His Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, representative of His uh, Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs. Uh, and the educational awareness campaign, which will accompany the conference and which will continue from now until the date of the conference, God willing, and the main goal of this campaign, which is what we, we, we call it the pulse of the sport uh, man campaign, is to educate all members of the society and athletes in particular about healthy lifestyle patterns such as healthy eating, exercising properly and avoiding smoking, which contribute to the prevention of heart disease and the prevention risk factors like blood pressure and diabetes. Awesome. And the conference will be organized by the Ministry of Health Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Cardiac Center and the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports. That's great. Thank you very much uh, for that information. It is very important. And that was consultant cardiologist and interventional cardiac electrophysiologist uh, electro and head of the electrophysiology department at Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa Cardiac Center, Dr. Adil Khalifa. Thank you for being with us.